Okay, we're starting a little short video here. Um, this might this might be a portion that comes actually later because I probably have to do an introduction um, to show some sketches and stuff that I've made for this project. But uh, basically, at this point, I'm starting the I'm just starting the project, and what it's going to be is an alcohol burner. Okay, and. Um, I saw uh, uh, my friend uh, up in Canada, Walter Macy, uh, some years back, I think he, he built one uh, that was designed by um, uh, uh, some hot air engine uh, designer. Um, I think his name is Jerry Howell. And um, so what, I what I've done is reduce the size of the tank that he originally had in size so this is just going to hold maybe an ounce and a half or something and what I've done is cut off uh, I cut off a two inch piece of brass that's inch and a quarter in diameter and I'm and I'm currently drilling a hole in it um, uh, about an eighth of an inch from the the far end so the reason I'm I gotta drill I gotta drill a hole in here before I can get the boring bar in there so um, I got to bore this out, uh, most of it bored out, so anyway, this is the beginning of the project, and so I'll just bring you in on the beginning, probably if this takes a few minutes, we'll fast forward through it, so uh, with that, uh, let's get going here. And I'm just taking it easy, um, about a half inch, about a half inch uh, drill bit. And we're just going up in there. Brass is kind of sticky, so uh, we don't want it to grab. So we're just taking it very slow and let the, the points of that drill bit cut away the brass. So, anyway, I'll be quiet now and maybe I'll um, uh, narrate part of this video eventually here. This is the largest drill I can I can chuck up in the in the chuck. So uh, it'd be nice if we could drill out some more, say with some boring time. But, uh, that's not going to be possible. This is as large as I can go. Quill runs out of uh, mark uh, at an inch and five eighths, so I have to guess at the last quarter of an inch. Well, we're going to get ready to uh, to bore this out. drill bit. I don't think I got any air in the compressor. Nope. I'll have to fire up the compressor and blow this out. So I'll bring you back in a, f in a few minutes when I start doing the boring. Okay, this is the largest boring bar I've got. It's a, we got a half inch uh, hole drilled in there. And this boring bar just barely fits in that half inch space. So hopefully it's going to work out okay. So well, here we go. Put a little WD 40 on here. Maybe. Basically, we're going to repeat what we just did. 
so I'm taking about 20 thousandths out of the bore each pass. I might be able to take more scrap. So. Anyway, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm going to break in here. I know we're we're in the middle of uh, boring out the uh, the large brass uh, diameter piece uh, for the cylinder for the main tank anyway. So I just wanted to show you that uh, I went I went into the uh, the house and I picked up the sketch that I did. So this is where we're starting from. I always try to make a sketch of of what I'm going to do. It's not written in stone, but um, Basically, it it uh, it shows some of the basic dimensions, which usually vary by the end of the project. But anyway, it's a very simple sketch of the uh, of the burner. Um, this is this is the tank right here that we're that we're um, uh, boring boring the 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 center of the piece of rod out and. Um, <clears throat> So this is an in view of it over here, and these little legs. There's two little legs, and you can see one of them over here that I've got separate. Those those will be uh, um, cut out on CNC. That'll hopefully it'll, I can find a piece of quarter inch brass to cut those out. And um, this is the other end view, or basically kind of a section. And then this is the pipe coming out of the bottom of the tank. There's a transition piece here and then a vertical pipe that comes up. And uh, <clears throat> there's an end plate down here that I'm going to attach with screws. That way I can get into the tank. If I have to deal with the wick or any any problems like that, I can get into the tank. So I'll, uh, I'll locate, uh, I think I've got eight small screws around here and we'll put a gasket on this and hopefully hopefully we can get it sealed up. We can always make another end cap and sil silver solder it on so you know that that we can do um, if we need to. Now what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna go with a 16th inch pipe thread for this piece of pipe coming in here and I'm gonna go with an 8th inch pipe thread for this um, uh, the, the filler spout up here. So those will be, I'll be able to take them in and out if necessary. And, and it'll cut down on what I have to silver solder. And I'm pretty sure I can seal those pipe threads up with no problem. Um, anyway, uh, that's that. Um, this will all be brass, maybe with the exception of this vertical pipe here where the wick, where the wick is. And, and this will be a piece of, uh, of steel. Or if I can find a piece of stainless or whatever I can figure out there and I, I'm not sure how much silver soldering we're going to do uh, probably whoops my my finger is giving out here probably these legs will get silver soldered on and maybe we'll do some silver soldering out here in this transition piece although we could just do that with 1 16th inch pipe thread too so we'll see how that works out so that that uh, that's that. I think we'll we'll um, we'll move ahead now, and I'll continue to bore. I've got it bored out. We got to bore this this diameter out to one inch here. So I don't know where we're at now, but we got a ways to go. I just thought I'd throw that in because I wanted to put throw that in at the beginning of the video, but I I didn't do that. So. Um, Anyway, with that, uh, I'll bring you back once we get this, this uh, board a little further. Okay, we're down to where it, almost where it needs to be. We're close anyway. So, um, I'm, I've checked it a few times here. So, let's, uh, I'm going to check it again. It doesn't, this doesn't, this is not critical, but... We want to get it as close as possible because we got to build the end cap for it. And so, if we can build everything to the the dimensions on the sketch, you know, it makes it easier. Let's see where we're at here. I'm just going to check this with the caliper, and I'm pretty sure we're not there yet, but uh, we're getting close. So there we go.
Okay, so that looks like uh, 983 on the caliper. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that looks like 983 on the caliper. So <clears throat> we got another 17 thousandths to take out of that. So I'm going to take about a 8 thousandths pass and see where we're at. When, when we get done with the cylinder here, um, I got to shorten it just a little bit as I remember. I just left it long because I figured we didn't have only an eighth of an inch of material here to shorten. We don't want this chamfer here. We want a nice crisp edge both inside and out. Now right now we got a nice crisp edge on the inside. Pretty good. Actually it doesn't matter. I can actually chamfer this a little bit. But this needs to be a nice crisp edge out here. So um, with that let's take another eight thousandths and see what happens. <laughs> I'm just going to use the calipers to check this, I think. Not critical. So we may be going to leave it there. It looks like I can't see it, but my finger moved it. Looks like we're about one thousandths. So maybe, maybe I'll take a clean up pass out of it. But, uh, it may it may open it up a little bit beyond one inch. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's see here. Looks pretty good. The end looks good down there. I did in the process. I did clean up the end at one point. I went in there with a little small boring bar and cleaned up the end. But. Um, I got one little divot right in the middle from the point of the drill bit, but that's all right. Well, there we go. Looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll bring you back when we start working on the cap. But what I'm going to do now is um, cut. I think I need to take about a sixteenth of an inch off this. I'll see where it's at once I take it out. I'll <clears throat> I'll check it with a caliper. But I need, to, I need to take a little bit off of this. That will probably get rid of this chamfer. And um, maybe a little. This, this is just the, the uh, factory finish on the, on the piece of rod. And um, so I'm, I'm, but I think the rod was pretty close to an inch and a quarter. So what I'll probably do is take some um, Scotch-Brite and just clean this up a little bit. It looks pretty good. So, anyway, with that, um, I'll bring you back when I start on the cap. I think that pretty much takes care of the cylinder. So, um, we got some place to put the alcohol. So I'll bring you back when I start the cap. And I, I'm thinking I could make the cap on CNC, so I'm not sure, but I may just make it on the lathe here. So, I may just cut a little sliver off of the, um, of the bar again. I hate to waste this material, but uh, we may have to waste just a little bit more of it to make the cap. And what I should have done is made this long enough when I cut it off with a bandsaw, and then just cut it, cut another small piece off after I surfaced the end of it. And uh, but I didn't do that, so hindsight's twenty twenty. So I'll bring you back. Just 
cutting it to length here. A couple, couple minutes. I got the micrometer stop set. And I need to take off 85,000. I've already measured it. So I'm taking off 25 at a whack. And I'm just holding it here. I'm not locking it. Another 25. About 75,000 I've taken off. So we're going to take off another 10. Speed it up a little bit. Hopefully that's pretty close. See some of the scrap one inside there. So we got a nice clean bore. I did do a cleanup. No, I don't remember if I did or not now. If I did clean up on that or not. But yeah, I think I did. I did a clean up on the bore. So I don't know if it's exactly right, but I didn't I didn't change the uh, the cross slide setting. So I just went through it again. And we got nice crisp edges now. And hopefully we're at two inches. So I'm I'm just checking it this way. It's a simple way. So you know, we're a little bit under, but I don't know if this is actually a good way to to do it here. You know, we're about. Uh, Two and a half, we're about two and a half thousandths, about two and a half thousandths under. That's okay. Anyway, that's, uh, I'll bring you back when I get set up to do the cap. That The cap will, will fit right on here, and I'm thinking I'll do it on the lathe, so I'll bring you back. Okay, there's the finished product. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, I got a little bit, I put a little bit more uh, meat at this end because um, I'm going to go in there with a pipe thread. So I got a 3 16 inch bottom here. Hopefully that'll be just fine. Uh, eighth of an inch would have probably been good. Uh, that's what this cap's going to be. It's going to be an eighth of an inch uh, and inset 1 16th. So anyway, we're going to make all that fit. The inside came out pretty nice. It's pretty close to the sizes supposed to be. Uh, the, I cleaned up the bottom a little bit more uh, before I took it out of the lathe and I just hit this outside with a little scotch bright. So there we go. We got a tank. So anyway I, I, I keep uh, I keep inserting little bits of information here but we're gonna get going with the with the end cap now. So with that I'll bring you back. Okay um, I'm gonna try to make the end cap CNC work and the uh, leg, the leg CNC work uh, part of this uh, tank portion of the of the project. So this will be one video because I see now that the, everything is getting way too long. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show this the C, some of the CNC work fast forward. And then we'll take a look at the, the three parts or four parts that we've got completed at the end. And um, uh, we'll go from there with a, with a part two, I guess. So anyway, that's, that's where we're at. And I've started the CNC work just now. So I wish I could get this all into one video, but I can't see how we're, we're going to do it.
Okay, there she be. I gotta zoom out a little bit. I guess I'm not. So there she be. I cut that out quite nicely. There's the end cap. Eighth of an inch thick. 70, 65, 70 thousandths offset is actually what it is. Let me go see if it fits. Oh, there it is. A little deburring. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. I mean perfect. So, a little deburring. It'll be beautiful. So, it's, it, it looks like the diameter is exactly right. The offset's exactly right. So, let's hope the screw heads fit within the, the eighth of an inch. We're going to use 256 screws. So, I'm hoping. I guess if it doesn't, we'll have to silver solder it on or go to a smaller screw or something. Anyway, there we, there she be. So there's the tank. I'm gonna make the legs for it. See if I can put that little tidbit on this video also. So with that, I'll bring you back. Okay, I've started the legs. Uh, we have two of these to cut out. So I guess this is gonna take a while, to be honest, because. Uh, this is quarter inch material. I suppose I could speed up the feed, but I'm not going to. Uh, the last little tidbit only added about three minutes to the video. I just, it was just a fast forward with a little bit of audio. So um, that's what we'll do here. So hopefully we can squeeze all this into the video and we'll have the, the four parts, the two legs, the, the, uh, the tank and the, uh, and the end cap all made. So, In this whole process will take about an hour. So probably what I'm going to do, I guess, is um, I'll just put I'll put the CNC work fast forward for just one leg, okay? And um, that's it. Then we'll terminate the video. Okay, um, that winds up the CNC for one of the um, one of the legs. 
so came out perfect uh, that's all I can say I got one more to do uh, each leg seems uh, well I've lost track of the time now but it takes a while like 20 minutes or something so I'm going to cut the other leg out tomorrow and uh, I'm going to conclude this video and actually that leg is came out of a pretty um, uh, a piece of brass it's kind of uh, what do I want to say uh, I want to say corroded but that's not what I want to say anyway um, it's not very pretty so it needs to be cleaned up a little bit but that it's just 360 brass so it'll it'll clean up really nice uh, no problem let me zoom out and I'll show you the leg a little more a little closer the M cap fits perfect I've been doing some thinking about that and I think I should have left a little bit more wall thickness on the tank for the 256 screw heads but uh, that's all right it'll be it'll be fine I'm going to turn this around see if I can show you that uh, well, the word I was looking for was tarnished <laughs> sometimes I can, my my mind goes blank but anyway there there is the um, I don't know if there's enough light or not but there's the little leg, not very big. It's the same width as the tank is. Uh, the, the same width as the tank is, so inch and a quarter. And uh, so the CNC is is a blessing in a in in a way because it really makes these little parts easy to make. So that's that. And um, I'll set that down here. You can see where I took it out of over there. Okay. There's where I took it out of. A little piece of brass laying there. I was just using that to prop up the other end of the tank. So I'll remove that. But that's, uh, there you go. So the two legs, the end cap and the tank are, are made. And then that'll be part one of this video. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later, and I'm not going to put the other leg on 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 camera, so it'll be the same thing. So with that, I'll call off. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.